Okay, let's go tour the caterpillar today. Let's go down these stairs and we'll take the shortcut through the window. As you may or may not know, this is going to be the Drake Caterpillar, which was released over the new ho uh, last holiday, and it's uh, basically a hauler. It's meant as a pirate pirate ship, pretty much. I guess you can kind of call this maybe a galleon of old. So they'll use this in conjunction with maybe the Cutlass, along with uh, the Buccaneer. Obviously, those are the branded pirate ships, but you can use others according to what your organization, if you're a pirate, wants. But there's the rear end of it. There is the lower rear turret. We'll do a quick little EVA around it. And they did release another one with a different skin. Uh, this is a temporary skin, so I won't say Kovalex, which is good, because I don't particularly like that. But they did release... a. Uh, Another version with a pirate skin that's basically all black. It doesn't have the Kovalex. Uh, I believe it has uh, basically says Drake Caterpillar over here on the side. It's actually pretty cool, and it's got uh, the kill count, like uh, the five single vertical lines with the slash going through it. So it's got seven, you know, for kills. Which I don't really care about that, but the Drake Caterpillar on it looks much better than this. So. All of these side bay doors open. You can obviously see the legs, why they call it the caterpillar. That front door opens, and there, I believe there is supposed to be a gantry that can come out and lower, so you can load up from the front. There is the top turret. So get a little bit more altitude so I don't fall onto the landing pad. This over here is going to be the tractor beam bay. This may or may not be the tractor beam, I'm not sure, which is not functional yet during alpha. This is a little ingress egress hatch, so you can go in through there. And this is basically the command module, this little thing over here. Which will float around the back. You'll also see a couple of engines. And this thing can actually detach, and it can be used as a lifeboat, or, I guess if you have crazy enough to have multiple caterpillars, you can use one of these command modules and bring it between multiple main bodies. So, well, let's, let's go into it. Remember, this is alpha, so it's not feature complete. There's a lot missing here. The um, thing with Star Citizen is that they are going for you know a visual and level of fidelity that you don't really see from a lot of games in this particular state. So as far as an alpha goes, it's far along, you know. But you, there is a lot of stuff missing, and everybody's just waiting for it. So we'll take a walk to the front. Over here you have a little catwalk that goes through all of the bays. Now let's see if we can open the bay door. Now there is a bug where the door will open, but it doesn't appear to open all the way. Oh, okay, so that opened. Right, so basically that opens up on all of them. And then I'll just pop up on the ladder. And we'll go up to the front. Here is the front landing bay. 
basically this is the front turret this thing should there it is there it go no that'll open the front door get the point So this is the main body of the ship. I will show, go back downstairs. I'll show you where you come in. Engine room. Small little hallway. This is where we entered the ship initially. So, and then we went through the habitation. This is basically where you eat and sleep when you're attached and you're in deep space. hallway and then you come into the engine room and then you go up here up these stairs over here you'll go to the hyperdrive and the upstairs engineering here is the lower turret so I'll go up these stairs the ladder Server room, power plant, upper hallway. So that's the server room. Okay, here is the command module. So, like I said, you can go down here, and here is some beds. It serves as a lifeboat. looking ship.
birds one. 